Good morning everyone, my name is Michelle, hope you're doing well. Welcome to another video, it's Wednesday morning, it's a nice day. I've already been out once but I had some things to ponder and I wasn't sure whether I was going to make a video on this but I've decided to, I'll keep it brief. I don't know what to make of it but I'm just going to give my opinion because I've been asked, I've been asked by a few people to comment on this. So I will. Yesterday I um, I talked about Ali, Hunter's mother. She's on high alert because she saw a cat before. And uh, some things that uh, have been said from her camp. And I want to address something that has come out from True, Ali's oldest daughter. I believe she's still a minor. I believe she's 17. But her name is out there. Um, you know, she's using the name herself, so I'm going to call her by her name. I'll leave a link to the conversation with someone called Mama Bear in the description box. There's a huge trigger warning to it. It's towards the end of the clip. The clip itself is about six minutes long. It's uh, the latter half of the clip that I'm referring to here. And that is uh, true implying that there's some abuse going on towards Summer by Don. And uh, as I said, I wasn't gonna, your load, I wasn't gonna comment on this because it's unprovable, it's inflammatory, and it's about Summer. And if Summer does come home and comes, comes home alive, then there's these things out there about her. But there's always that chance that it is true and we've got, to, we've got to think about that. But here's my rationale as to why I don't think it is true. That's just my opinion. I don't know any more than anyone else. But uh, True said that Summer one day was wearing a long dress. She mustn't have had any underwear on because as she was doing flips, and just being Summer, a uh, true caught sight of Summer's uh, private parts, and they were, in her words, crusty. That's pretty horrible to think about, and uh, I don't want to think about that. But there could be numerous explanations as to why that might be, if indeed that's what True saw. She took Summer to stay at her grandma's, so I assume that's Sherry's for the night. And she asked Summer whether her daddy was hurting her. And she didn't say anything, she just made a pouty face. So, don't know. Now, my question here is, if True suspected abuse, now she's a minor herself, she needs to tell an adult and it sounds like she did because she took summer and was she just able to take summer did Candice and Don just agree to that to stay at who I assume is Sherry so Sherry surely was aware of why summer was staying I'm guessing I'll pick this up when I uh, leave the main road here it's busy so why wasn't this reported to the police the CPS, why wasn't action taken if they believed abuse was going on? You know, the police have um, specially trained professionals who can talk to small children about these things and, uh, and get them to open up about things that might be hurting them. Maybe they did report it to the CPS, I don't know. But well, that would be my question. It was also said that True was there one time when uh, Don undressed Summer so that she was naked. He was just wearing boxer shorts. Presumably it was in the summer, presumably it was hot. And then he took her downstairs. So was he taking her to bed? Because that's where she slept, in the basement. Was she naked because it was hot? And that's how Summer preferred to sleep. But there's obvious implications here, given that uh, 
you know, there's uh, Don's history that he admitted to, that when he was uh, a child himself and a young man, he's admitted to abusing his stepsister, Jeannie, which started at the age of five. We, we know about that, don't we? If we've uh, been following the case for any length of time. Whether there's ever going to be charges against him in Utah remains to be seen. Whether there's a statute of limitations, which means he can't be charged, that's debatable and it all remains to be seen. But this isn't about Don's stepsisters. This isn't about what Don did when he was young. This is about Summer. So there's been a lot of speculation. I've speculated myself lots of times that abuse was going on in that home. Given that it's alleged also, as I discussed yesterday, that the boys are coming out talking and have told authorities that there was abuse in the home. Don't know whether that's true. I don't know any way to find out whether that's true, but that's just a rumor that's going round. See yesterday's video if you don't know what on earth I'm talking about. It's big, it's a lot. Now, here's my problem. Some people have said that perhaps uh, True was scared to come out and talk until Don went to jail. But Don's been in jail since February. So how old is this clip? Is this clip recent? Now, Ali's there. You can hear Ali speaking as well. So it's before Ali had her children removed. It has been confirmed that CPS have taken Ali's children. And yes, I agree. Surely there's more to this story than what's being said. CPS don't take children because you're having problems with your ex-boyfriend. Unless there's a lot of violence that puts the children at risk. Or for other reasons that puts the children at risk. Again, we don't know. We don't know the specifics. But um, if this is relatively recent, well, Don's been in jail since February. But more importantly than that, I don't think True has been afraid to share because it was true, some people might not know this, it was true that originally told the world that Don was showering with Summer. That was months ago when she spoke to Penny, who was then True Crime Commentary. I don't know what month it was, but it was definitely before Don went to jail. So if she's been willing to share that Don showered with Summer, which he admitted to, I mean, you know, he's admitted to showering with the kids. He's admitted to sleeping with Summer because she wanted to sleep with him. She wanted to sleep with him. She felt safe. Now, lots of kids call sleep with their parents. It's only an issue because we know some things about Don's past. That's the only reason why I believe that people think this is a problem. And if, it's, if this is all true, obviously, this is a massive problem. This is big. But if True was willing to share that Don was showering with Summer and, and she knew that, wouldn't that have been the perfect opportunity to also say about these other things that she saw? I mean, when did she see these things? When was this clip? We don't know. So why is it all coming out now? Can't be because she's scared. Because the thing about uh, Summer ordeeing when she was three, that didn't come out either until recently. So I say the same thing. Why is it all only coming out now? It doesn't make sense. Ali's spoken numerous times to people. True has spoken to Penny before. Why did she not tell the OD story? Why did she not add to the, do uh, the do Don showering his summer story if she knew more? The summer OD story has only come out since... Uh, Jodie Sue spoke about Andy giving drugs to the children at 110. <laughs> and Candy supplying drugs that would sedate the girls. Is this story coming out because Ali could be implicated in this? Not because she's supplying drugs to children, but because she allowed her children to go to 110. We know she did. We've got a 911 call 
of Ali complaining that Candice wasn't giving her kids back. I mean, Candice has been up to some shady stuff with teenagers. And I don't necessarily mean SA. I mean giving them alcohol and nicotine products and whatever else. But yet again, one more time, why is this all coming out now? We have to ask that question. And why was it not addressed at the time by the authorities? Maybe it was, and it was ignored. Let's be fair. Let's be rounded in this, uh, in this discussion. Maybe it was reported. Or maybe it didn't happen. And these are just more lies. I don't like to think that True would lie about something so horrible. Like I wouldn't like to think that Hunter would lie about the events of June 15th. And I concur with Chris McDonough. Chris said that he thinks that H was 80% honest and the rest was embellished. I agree with that. I think certain things because of his age he embellished. But I think he was basically telling the truth. He might have been coached somewhat. He might have heard things on the internet that he's incorporated into his own story. But I think the essence of it was honest. And I'd like to think the same about True. But I don't know. I don't know at all. I don't know True. And there's too many questions here. So uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I've been Michelle. Hope you well. See you in the next video. Goodbye from Miss Cassie Springer. And tomorrow it'll be goodbye from Miss Tillington as well. Look at her. Colin. Yeah, you're pulling because you want cats. You want cats to miraculously appear from these bushes. <laughs> All right, guys. See you later.